Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and you're watching The Electric Singularity. Fantastic to have you here. If you didn't already know, this is the best electric car, renewable energy, all that kind of good stuff. YouTube channel, hands down. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Guys, Elon Musk is at it again and in a good way. In a very, very, very good way, in fact. Now, as some of you know, he's announced the new Roadster will have a SpaceX package, which means that the standard Roadster will be fitted with a special cold thruster gas package. Now, it uses cold air, not gas, to enable the rockets that will be attached to the vehicle to launch it and give it an insane speed of 1.1 seconds from 0 to 60 miles an hour or 1.1 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour for those outside of the United States. Now guys, this will be as fast as some of the top fuel dragsters, which obviously are just insane. This thing is going to be obviously not road legal. Will it exist? Is Elon talking out of his rear end? I'm telling you now, I fully believe this already exists, and that's the only way Tesla's been able to confirm the 0 to 60 mile per hour time. How else would they know what the time is? I think the real reason the Roadster has been taking such a long time to come to us is because they've been working on the special gas, cold air gas thruster package from SpaceX, and they want to make sure that that package is complete by the time they release this car. Now, Elon said part of the point of this car being so insanely fast was to lay the smack down on gas cars. And I'm telling you, nothing will come close to the performance of this vehicle. Now, Musk has implicitly confirmed that the acceleration will be what I just said. He's explicitly confirmed it. So it is going to happen. It may not happen next year. It may happen in 2025. It doesn't really matter. Let's be honest. If there's a car that does this speed within the next five years, that is a game changer. It's a game changer because there will never be a petrol car on sale, ever, that will come anywhere near the performance of this vehicle. Currently, the fastest petrol car on the market, fastest gas car, sorry, Americans, is the Bugatti Chiron which costs in Australia $6.5 million, or in the US about $3.5 million. US dollars. And that thing is a slow turtle in comparison to this. 0 to 60 miles per hour in the Chiron takes around about 2.5 seconds. This thing is more than twice as fast. That is an utterly insane difference. It's not even in the same stratosphere. So what I find interesting is the real story, will this thing fly? Right? Elon has said it's going to fly. So anyway, Tesla owners of Silicon Valley tweeted Musk and said, can't believe this car can fly a little bit per at Elon Musk. SpaceX package is going to be unreal. Yeah, that's an understatement. It's sure going to be unreal. Well, Elon has responded to this tweet and said, this will actually be able to fly very briefly. I always laughed at flying cars, and now we're making one. Fate, love, irony. Ha ha. They're making it. Elon confirmed they're making it. They are going to make it. I always thought this was more of a theoretical thing. My mind is blown that they're actually going to make this car. Let's be honest, there will be nothing in the automotive world that comes anywhere near the speed of this vehicle. Nothing. Nothing. If you haven't already bought Tesla shares, I'm telling you, the price of companies is not logical. Look at the PE ratios on NEO, Tesla, a range of businesses. The price of companies is not logical. Invest in Tesla. So, the 2022 Roadster is the second incarnation of what was Tesla's first electric vehicle to market in 2008. But it's a very different beast to the original Lotus based car. Now, I don't know if you guys know. The first car Tesla ever made was a Roadster. Now, it was based heavily on the Lotus Roadster, 
So Tesla basically took the Lotus Roadster. And now people thought, people thought that Tesla just turned, just put a battery pack in this Lotus Roadster, which was kind of a kit car. But that's not actually true. If you listen to Elon Musk's autobiography, you'll learn that the, the actual Roadster that Tesla produced was so, so different. In fact, about 80% of the car had been changed by the time it finally came to market. It was so different to the original Lotus Roadster that the fact that we even identified it with that vehicle is kind of stupid. It's so remarkably, it's more, far more different than many cars that use similar platforms to other cars because so much was changed in that original Roadster. In fact, the, the engineering that went into that Roadster to make it happen is absolutely mind-blowing when you start to learn about it. I'll make a separate video about that one day, guys. So, while the 2008 Roadster was really a groundbreaking leap into electric mobility and had similar specs with comparable supercars, or comparable sports cars, I should say, at that time, the new Roadster is simply taking things to a whole new level that's never been seen before and may never be, be seen for at least a decade. At least a decade. In 2018, Musk tweeted that those who buy the new Roadster, which is priced at around 200000 US dollars or the first edition, 250000 US dollars, for the found, sorry, that's the founder series, would, it would come available with a SpaceX package option that consists of 10 rocket thrusters. Now, quote, New Tesla Roadster will exceed all gas sports cars in every way, said Musk in an ensuing thread. And then he tweeted, SpaceX option package for new Roadster will include 10 small rocket thrusters arranged seamlessly around the car. These rocket engines dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking, and cornering. Maybe they will even allow a Tesla to fly. Well, he's since said it will fly. It's true. It's confirmed. It's the real deal. It's going to happen. So guys, even without the rocket thrusters, the standard edition model, which is the one I'll be buying, at least in my dreams, will do 0 to 60 miles per hour or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 1.9 seconds. And I believe the quarter mile will be around about 8.5 seconds, which is way faster than the fastest gas-powered petrol car right now, which is, like I said before in another video, the Bugatti Chiron, which does the quarter mile in 9.4 seconds. 9.4 versus 8.5 is a very, very wide gap. Now, there is a gas-powered vehicle on the planet which can almost do this kind of speed, that I haven't talked about before because it's not considered a production series car. As far as we know, there haven't been more than 30 of these made. That is the Koenigsegg Gemira. Gemira, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, guys. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comment section. That thing is insane. But it also costs an eye-wateringly insane amount of money. Many, many millions of dollars. Around about 7 million US dollars. Versus the Roadster. Similar performance, if not better for two hundred thousand dollars seven million two hundred thousand big difference now guys even though this all sounds crazy to me the even crazier thing is for 120,000 us dollars you can buy a family sedan from tesla the tesla model s plaid that will do the quarter mile in 9.2 seconds one hundred and twenty thousand dollars for the fastest car ever made fastest production car ever made and you can carry your dog and your kids in that car. To me, that is just next level. Electric cars are going to be insane over the next 10 years. Everything insane I can find out about them, I'll share with you. Now, no official figures on the rocket thruster acceleration appear to have been released by Tesla, other than the fact that it will do 1.1 seconds. We don't have any power figures for what these thrusters are. We don't even know what they are, how they're going to work. But as soon as we find out, as soon as I find out, I'll share that information on the channel. However, we do have a computer generated video which kind of gives you an idea of what this would look like. And it was made by PS Larvi 3D VFX. Looks insane. The thing is, this video here doesn't even show the car levitating. And I really don't think it's gonna, we're going to have any idea just how crazy fast this car is going to be until we see it in the real world. And this vehicle. It's going to change the game. If you own a petrol supercar or an ice one right now, sell it because depreciation is going to go through the roof. I can promise you that. 
Now guys, in a tweet, Elon responded to a question on Twitter about whether or not the 1.1 second time was actually in fact true. Now, maybe Musk is out of ways to properly explain this car because all he said that all he said was that it would be very intense. He added that slamming your foot down in the roadster with SpaceX package added to the car would probably not be wise for those with a medical condition the same as a hardcore roller coaster. Now, I think to be honest, that's a massive understatement. If you have any medical condition, I think if you're over the age of, I don't know, 60 and under the age of 10, you shouldn't be in this car when it's doing 1.1 seconds, 0 to 60. The G-forces here are going to be absolutely insane. Now, guys, for those of you, if there are any of you out there wondering if the Tesla Model S Plaid or Plaid Plus will get the SpaceX rocket thruster package, bad news, unfortunately, at this stage, it will not go on that car at all. But we can just be thankful that this car will exist at all. Now, Viv tweeted to Elon, hold up, will Plaid have rocket thrusters too? Or are you referring to the next gen Roadster? And Elon said, oh, sorry, yes, Roadster will have thrusters, not Plaid. Plaid is indeed close to the theoretical maximum of a roadworthy car without special devices. And guys, one thing I suggest this car should also have that I don't think it will come with as far as I know yet is vomit bags. They could be a good idea. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.